Alrighty guys, so let's take a look at some of the words that we're going to see in this and some of our other texts this week. Um, and we're going to go ahead and do our gestures as we learn about the meanings, because remember those gestures help them stick inside our minds. Um, alrighty, so and we can adjust them a little bit when I get back if we need to, but our first word is boycott. So let's take a look. What is a boycott? So here's a picture that can stick inside of our mind. And you see that the, um, Joan bought apples instead of grapes after she joined the grape boycott. So a boycott is a planned joining with others in refusing to buy from or deal with a person, a nation, or a business. So it's like a group of people coming together and saying, no, we are not buying that or we are not doing that. We are not going there. So joined effort coming together to say no. So boycott. All righty. And there's that again, that picture of boycott. Let's see our next word. All right, our next word is encouragement. Of course, one of my favorite words because we love to encourage each other and it makes a big difference in our lives. So encouragement is support that inspires hope and confidence in people. So for encouragement, a good one is kind of like this. Um, this is an actual sign language for applause. Um, so like, you know, picture a crowd encouraging their team. So encouragement. The encouragement we needed to win the game came from our fans. You see them there in the crowd. Multiple meaning of fans, right? All right, here we go. Next word is fulfill. And here we see a little uh, boy on stage and it says Jules got to fulfill his dream of performing in the school talent show, fulfill. So what is fulfill? To fulfill means to carry out or finish. So it's kind of like I had this dream and I did it. So fulfill. So think of your dreams and coming true and you're making something happen. Or sometimes it's a promise. It's any type of idea, right, that, that's coming true and making it happen. So kind of that, yes, symbol. Alrighty, and our next word is injustice. Um, so let's take a look first at what injustice is. An injustice is a lack of justice or fairness. So in, in this word, the prefix in, meaning not. So not having justice um, is the that prefix in, right? So justice, um, again, the idea of justice, not Justice Jones, but justice, um, our justice system has a symbol of scales that look very similar to this. Um, and, and it's our legal system has this symbol, right? And we want everything to be fair. Um, so the scale being balanced is, is the idea of fairness or justice. Um, and then we see the injustice picture, the scale is off balance. So maybe um, something is much better for one group of people or one person rather than um, and worse for another group, right? Or these people get to do something where these people don't get to do it. Um, so that, that we want justice being balanced out and fair. Um, and there was um, in um, the civil rights era, there was um, a lot of attention brought to injustices in our country. And there's individuals who worked really hard um, to come together and to bring more justice to our country. And we're gonna be learning about that and reading a story, not a story, it's a biography. But remember we said biographies are very much like stories, um, but they're just about real people, about a um, subject who did make a big difference for us with justice. All right, and here's our next one, mistreated. So miss in this one meaning bad, right? And so mistreated, meaning treated badly in, an, in a negative way. People who are mistreated are treated badly by others. So Tom felt that the dog's former owner had harmed and mistreated her. So poor doggy. Looks like Tom maybe rescued it from a rescue association of dogs and rescued um, this sweet little doggy and now is going to treat the dog well, but formerly the dog was mistreated. So think of like this, like we're going to do it with a pointing finger because we don't really want to do punching, but like if you're somebody's like kind of always scolding and ailing or mistreating, but, and it could be sometimes like injuring, right? So just doing, treating them badly. So mistreated, kind of that negative facial expression. Alrighty. And then we have protest. And what is protest? People protest when they object to something. Um, the children decided to protest the destruction of the forest. 
Um, so they you know, want to save the forests. So they're saying we're going to protest the destruction of the forest. So you see them holding signs. So our prote protest sign is going to, our uh, gesture is going to be holding up a sign. And then a lot of times when you're at those protests, the group chants together. They have some kind of like cheer or chant. Um, so maybe it's save our forests, save our forests, right? So holding those signs and chanting together. So that's our protest gesture there. Um, and here we have qualified. So Dr. Smith is more qualified than the nurse to tell what treatment the boy needs. And so you see Dr. Smith is the, the doctor in the white coat um, and the, there's the nurse in the pink and Dr. Smith is more qualified. So a qualified person has the needed abilities to do something, right? They, they have those um, those abilities and they're qualified for it. So kind of like thinking of like a doctor, kind of like a badge um, and this can be our gesture. Like I, I, I'm wearing my badge, I, I'm qualified. I um, have these abilities that is necessary to do whatever this job is. So I'm qualified. And there's my name tag and badge to prove it. All right, and then we have registered. So take a look at registered. The woman gave her address so that she could be registered to vote. So it's basically signing up for something. Um, like when we do the 5K for school, you have to, your family has to register to be a part of the 5K. So you sign up and put your name on the list. Someone who is registered had his or her name placed on the list. So you kind of go like this, almost like this is like the, like I voted kind of, or like I'm taking a pledge. And then, so it's the pledge and then putting your name onto the list. So registered, you that with me? All right. So we're gonna be thinking about these words in our um, biography that we're going to read today. So pay attention, note today and over the next few days this week. So pay attention as we're hearing those words and, and then be kind of doing those gestures to help you remember what they mean. And let's see how they're going to be used in this story.